Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for 10 more action packed minutes of Thunder Chief building action. Okay people I want to tell you something. I'm still sanding. <laughs> I don't know what I got myself into here. <laughs> but I'm still sanding. I put all this red filler on last night. Not saying it till two in the morning. Oh yeah. Anytime I work that late, it's gonna be hard to get started again, you know. Had to run and eat this morning. I'm still saying it, you know, and I ain't got a whole lot of advice to give on this. Except change your paper often, okay? I'm still using this 220. Oh, this for for Dave. Hey, Dave, I'll call you right back. But, uh, let's go ahead and it. But change your paper often, people. You know, when, when 220 wears down, it's like 400, okay? Once this thing gets dull, it starts wanting to go over the humps instead of cut through them. So, you know, sandpaper's cheap. You know, don't try and use one piece of paper for six hours. Use it, cut it, put it in and chuck it aside. You know, that's the best piece of advice I can give you on sanding. About I've got this sanded, and, uh, and I just got a couple spots I'm, I need to hit with Bondo. Just something that was too deep for this glazing putty. But actually, most of this glazing putty, I sanded it off. You know, it just kind of works as a guide, so, you know, you can kind of determine whether you can keep going, you know, staying through it, or just stop, you know, I can go a little bit more there, I need to get this corner better, but actually it's looking pretty good, I think, uh, one more coat of primer and guide coating it. And uh, it's going to be ready for a pen light. It's really looking pretty good. This is all I got left to sand is this real strip right here. I know y'all wondering what's going on, so I can't have my fans in suspense. You thinking I bailed on the sharp pencil and took off to China? <laughs> Went to work in them Chinese art factories. No, that's not going to happen, people. I'm here for the long haul. You know, I'm still trying to figure out if y'all just like the way I talk. <laughs> Or is it the airplanes? <laughs> oh, it's all good. It's all good. You gotta just sit back and watch this 105 come together. It's gonna be a bad old jet, people, right here. This is gonna be it. You don't see very many, you know, I only know of one. Yeah, and that Century Jet Models makes a small ducted fan size 105. And uh, I've never seen a big one. Not in any magazines or anything, you know. Surely not one this big anyway. <laughs> But it's going to be a cool jet. I can't wait to get it finished. That's what drives me so hard. I want one sitting here on wheels, test running the turbine. 
They blaze it down the runway for the first time. Watching that nose come up. They fly off just straight and true. Not needing any trim. Oh man, that's that's the best feeling in the world right there. You know, watching that landing gear come up. After a couple passes, it's feeling good, flying good, I bring her down on the deck. Man, people, there, I do just ain't no other feeling like that in the world, you know. That's what, that's what drives me. You know, I've done it before. Scratch building planes, you know, my big old GB. Just uh, other planes I've scratch built. And, that's just it, you know. That's the ultimate, the ultimate high for me right there. That's what drives me. That's my motivation. Just gotta love things that fly, you know. And, uh, you know, I, the other day I was talking about there's too many arts in the world. You know, people, you ain't gotta go like this. I like my arcs too. Don't, don't get me wrong with that statement. You know, I fly some arcs myself. I got that F-16 in there, that T-45, and things is full-blown arcs from China. You know, ain't nothing wrong with them. They fly good. Shoot, I can't build that F-16 for what it costs. You know, I can't. And uh, nothing wrong with them. They're awesome, but, you know, we just can't lose the art of model building. You know, that's just putting too much faith in other people and other countries and just can't lose this art of, of model building. And that's why I just want to show the world how I do it. You know? And if it helps a couple people sit down and just totally scratch build an airplane, uh, it's worth it. For all these videos I made, all this talking I do, you know, it ain't for my glory. It's, it's to help my fellow man understand something that he just don't understand, you know? And that's what it's all about. I sure do hope. You know, people's emailed me and they have inspired them to, you know, do this. There's a couple new builds on YouTube that I've inspired. He ain't giving me no credit for what he's learned, but <laughs> I've seen his videos. And he's doing all right. But I'm not after this for the glory. I, I, it's just I'm motivated by the finished product myself. So I think it's awesome. I think more people should put their builds on YouTube and do it be one Bob style. Turn the camera on and build away. Whether it's art, scratch building, whatever. I just love that YouTube. You know, for the short time it's, it's been around, that place has really taken off. <laughs> 